Hey guys, welcome back to Elevated and Meaningful. I'm out here at a really big acre gardens right behind me at UC Davis. It's right across where I stay or where I live. Um, so a friend of mine, uh, his name was Azam. Um, he said to write about education uh, and spiritual material. And I'm, I'm gonna write, uh, talk about it now a little bit. Uh, so the first thing is, uh, like always, the Baha'i writings are really where all these things are from. Uh, Baha'u'llah says that knowledge is as wings to man's life and a ladder for his ascent. Its acquisition is incumbent upon everyone. The knowledge of such sciences, however, should be acquired as can profit the peoples of the earth and not those which begin with words and end with words. Great indeed is the claim of scientists and craftsmen on the peoples of the world. And truth knowledge is a veritable treasure for man and a source of glory, of bounty, of joy, of exaltation, of cheer and gladness unto him. So as you can see uh, in the writings of our beloved faith, um, knowledge is something that is uh, analogous to wings, which means that the more knowledge you have, there are greater opportunities, there are greater sort of uh, fields of understanding that open up, uh, possibilities unimaginable. And so, uh, and I think another analogy that we can use to help us understand the importance of education, uh, both spiritual and material, is that of science and religion. I think religion has to do a lot with the conduct and character of human beings, uh, those, those characters that separate us from the animal kingdom. Um, qualities such as love, kindness, generosity, humility, uh, despite having knowledge, you know, we should be humble, wise, you know, wisdom. Um, many, many, many qualities. Uh, compassion, uh, harmony, unity, all these things are qualities that are inherent, I believe, in mankind. And those are the things that should separate us from the animal. And the other side is the material part of education, uh, which has to do with, I believe, how we uh, put those uh, spiritual ideals into action. So, for example, if science is by itself separate from religion, which I feel like mostly it's like that today, and if religion is by itself separate from science, so science and religion, you know, disagree, there's great... Uh, chaos, there is, uh, you know, people's, uh, people that begin to be capable of destroying the whole planet, uh, there's wars, there is uh, differences, and so I feel like uh, science and religion, which is also what Baha'u'llah teaches us, should be one, you know, they should be in harmony, they should work together and be complement one another, not be disunited and create all these uh, meaningless petty disputes that we see in the world today. And I think also uh, when we connect uh, material and spiritual uh, education or knowledge and science religion, all these together, I believe, you know, also politically and economically and uh, just globally and in general, I think the world will reach a point where it realizes that its unity is much more important than all these petty disputes that we see today and in part that requires spiritual education it requires us to really understand what does it mean to be a human being what's the nature of humanity you know what is it that should um, characterize us uh, as human beings that strive for happiness that strive for civilization not for war not for these things that we are doing now and so I think this is really mainly my understanding of education. Anyway, so I wanted to just cut this short. I hope this, you guys enjoyed it. Um, please subscribe to my channel, comment, like, and all of those things. Uh, and make sure you share this video. Um, and ask more questions next time. So again, I'm Sarv, and thanks for watching Elevated and Meaningful. See you guys next time.